Well, I struck camp early this morning and decided to uh, pack it on over to a new site. Uh, last night, there was a noise from the highway that could be heard all night long. And the highway is miles and miles away. So I think we're just kind of on top of a hilltop here that makes it very difficult to have a quiet spot. So I'm going to head on down to another site. I'm going to have to go back to the car and drive a ways and see if I can get in. But uh, it's about 8.30 in the morning. It's a beautiful morning. Sun coming through the trees. And uh, temp temperature is really moderate. Just beautiful. Well, I'm hiking out of uh, camp. I think I'm about halfway back. And uh, it's finally really serene down in this valley. A little stream here that uh, I'm crossing right now. Really beautiful. Cooking potato pancakes. Now the mix doesn't look particularly appetizing, but after it's been cooked, delicious. This is the second campsite. Got the tent up. The fly is sitting on the top right now. There's a little bit of rain anticipated later today. But this is the uh, this is the site. It's in a bit of a hollow here. And uh, not much of a breeze, but it's still fairly cool. And up the hill. So pretty isolated and... Nicely, it's also... Uh, pretty quiet. Didn't sleep that well last night and uh, I just actually took a nap so I'm getting up to, uh, uh, to have my breakfast at 1. And I can tell you it's pretty tasty. And there's the finished product. Some salt and pepper on it. That's good eating. All right, inside the REI Quarter Dome T3 Plus. This is a three person tent. I'm solo backpacking with it uh, on this trip, but uh, we'll do so with, uh, with buddies and with my wife uh, in the future. Um, Two-person tents tend to be pretty tight. Uh, the three-person tent um, gives you that much more space and makes it more uh, much more comfortable. I'm six foot one, so um, the extra space uh, is nice. The other thing is. This is the plus model, so uh, it's it's actually I think about 10 inches longer than the standard model, and that makes a huge difference for me. Um, it can really stretch out, and it gives you a little foot room. It gives you a little buffer between you and the uh, and the end of the tent. So if you're getting any condensation, you're not going to get that condensation on your bag. Um, so um, <clears throat> the tent has uh, some nice features. It's got uh, storage on every corner, as you can see. I haven't quite set everything up uh, in here yet. And as you can see, the, uh, the fly is laying on the top of the tent right now. Uh, we'll put that on later. 
Uh, everything about the tent, uh, the construction is really, really very well done. Um, bathtub design. Uh, you can see that the uh, the seams are completely sealed, factory sealed. There's really no reason or no need to seal these seams yourself. It's all mesh, uh, as you can see looking out of the tent, um, all the way up just the uh, center panel on the top. And the other uh, great thing about the tent is how vertical the, uh, the sides are. So if you can get a sense of this, the, uh, the side walls are nearly straight up and down on the tent. So it gives you really a tremendous sense of uh, space in the tent. And as you can see, as I said, I'm, I'm 6'1". Sitting here, there's probably 10 or 12 inches between my head and the top of the tent. So um, it really makes, uh, makes it comfortable, very livable. And if you had to hunker down in the tent for any length of time, you could certainly do it uh, in here. The uh, tent has two doors, uh, one on each side, this teardrop shape, uh, this nice reflective uh, Kelty uh, Triptease ties uh, on there. Uh, and uh, you saw in the setup video uh, that the, uh, the tent pitches very nicely. So uh, not to do an extensive uh, review on this, you can certainly see um, good reviews on, on this tent or its brethren. I think Nothing Fancy has a great review on the, uh, the T2 Plus, which is a narrower tent. I think it's the same length. It might be just a touch shorter, uh, but I think on uh, one of his videos he commented that it was a little bit tight. Um, hence uh, the, uh, the three-person version, which is not tight. It's, it's very comfortable. Uh, as uh, and as I said, for uh, solo backpacking, it's uh, absolutely a luxurious amount of space. Um, like the tent, we're going to see uh, if we have some rain tonight, if uh, if she holds out well in the rain, and uh, more on that later, I guess. Well, it's the second day. And uh, just taking a, a hike. It's a really serene area. The trail weaves back and forth over a creek. And uh, really quiet, beautiful trail. Just came up on that deer. All of a sudden I heard her calling out. And she went bounding off and, uh, and she's still huffing. And she's out of sight now. But she had uh, run by the time I got the camera ready. That's about the fourth time I've seen deer on this trip.
This is one of the many creek crossings. There's a little guy. A bit of marshland uh, around the creek, a low-lying area. It's really thick with vegetation.